There are a lot of features that I've wanted to put into Yandere Simulator for a very long time, but I simply never set aside the time to work on them. I decided to use the past few weeks to implement some of the features that have been waiting months or years to get into the game. For example, ever since I first put a cork board into Yandere Chan's room, I've wanted to allow the player to decorate it with red strings. And now, this feature is finally in the game. It doesn't have any kind of meaningful effect on gameplay. This feature is only there so that the player can roleplay as an obsessed serial killer. Yandere Simulator is supposed to simulate the experience of being a Yandere girl, so I think it needs a few features that exist purely to let the player step into the shoes of a psychotic lovelorn girl. This is one of those features. One of the game's oldest features is that Yandere-chan becomes overwhelmed with emotion when she stands too close to Senpai. Her behavior frightens Senpai, who tells her to go away and leave him alone. For a long time, one of the most common complaints I've heard about the game was that Senpai seems rude for telling Yandere-chan to go away. This was probably because the animation she was performing didn't really communicate exactly how creepy she was being. As of now, Yandere-chan has new animations that she will play in Senpai's presence. The longer she spends around him, the weirder these animations get. You should now see an accurate representation of exactly how weird and creepy Yandere-chan gets when she's around Senpai. Many of the rooms in Yandere-chan's school are currently empty, because it hasn't been a high priority to decorate rooms with props while there are still core gameplay mechanics that need to go into the game. However, before I release a build that contains Osana, I want to make sure that the most important rooms, like the club rooms, are properly furnished. To get one step closer to that goal, I recently filled the art club with props. Additionally, the art club leader now has voiced lines. However, he might defy your expectations, because he has a somewhat peculiar personality. Check out his profile on the official website if you want to learn more about him. I've always wanted Yandere Simulator School to feel like a very active place. With the addition of the student council and the bullies patrolling the school hallways, I think this is finally beginning to happen. But in order for the school to really feel alive, I think that there should be more events occurring throughout the school. These events would have absolutely nothing to do with Senpai, the rivals, or the game's story. These events would exist purely to make the school feel more alive and like each character has their own life and interests. The characters might discuss things that occur outside of school to add depth to Yandere Simulator's world. For example, these two characters will discuss a fictional anime that only exists within Yandere Simulator's world. As I discussed in my last video, a character's personality dictates how they react to murder. There is a hero persona, a coward persona, a phone addict persona, and so on. I've come up with an idea for a new type of persona. But what makes this character special is not the way they react to murder. It's the way they react to being bullied. I call it the fragile persona. Because if this type of character is pushed far enough, it's possible for them to break. First, you'll have to gossip about the fragile student in order to lower their reputation until they are targeted by the school's bullies. Imagine that there are several different levels of bullying. The first level is bad-natured teasing, but the final level is extremely cruel torment that leaves mental scars, and perhaps physical scars. Once the fragile student's reputation has been lowered so far that they are being subjected to the most severe level of bullying, your next objective is to convince the fragile student that one person is to blame for all of their problems. To do this, you'll need to befriend one of the bullies and ask them to talk to another student, and then take a photo of the two characters talking. You'll know it worked if this icon appears at the top of the screen. Next, leave a note in the fragile student's locker saying that you'd like to meet them somewhere private to discuss the subject of bullying. When you meet them, 
you'll have the option to offer help. I found your note. What do you want to say? I'm sorry to call you here like this, but I can't stay silent any longer. I know who's responsible for what you've been going through. Please, take a look at this photograph. This is the person who spread rumors about you and ruined your reputation. I'm afraid that they aren't going to stop until they've destroyed your life. So, everything that's happened to me is because of this person? Thank you for telling me. I need some time to think about this. G goodbye. At this point, the fragile student has been pushed beyond her breaking point, and she is ready to snap. Now that you've given her a single person to blame for all of the pain, fear, and sorrow she's endured, she can finally direct all of her fury towards one target. The next day at school, you'll find the fragile student curled up in a ball, unresponsive. Eventually, they will stand up and begin walking. What happens next is... In addition to everything that I showed off in this video, I also made numerous other adjustments and improvements to the game over the past few weeks. Most of these things are too minor to feature in a video, but you can always visit my blog if you want to read about everything else that is new or different in the latest build. My plan for the near future is to continue making general improvements throughout the game and implementing features that have been on my to-do list for a very long time. Then I'll return to adding new characters and implementing the core gameplay mechanics necessary to make it fun to eliminate your rivals. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Why are the Occult Club boys so sad? Maybe it's because they didn't have a date for Valentine's Day. But don't worry, you don't have to be alone ever again. You can simply buy a date. Oh, no, it's not what you're thinking. Let me explain. As of now, you can purchase official Yandere Simulator body pillows. I'm not kidding. This is real. These things actually physically exist. I'm serious. You can choose between two different art styles, so you get a body pillow that suits your taste. The front shows her loving side, and the back shows her dangerous side. But wait! 55% of Yandere Simulator's fanbase is female. Maybe they don't want a body pillow of Yandere-chan. Maybe they'd prefer a body pillow of Yandere-kun instead. Just look at those eyes. He wants you. And he wants to kill anyone who's ever looked at you. So there's no reason to ever be alone on Valentine's Day again. Head over to crowdmade.com and check out the pillowcases they have to offer. Yandere-chan and Yandere-kun will love you forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs>